Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Yesterday, I let you know that NVIDIA had rolled out another emergency hotfix driver, 576.26, which was basically a hotfix to fix a hotfix uh, because the previous um, driver update was still causing black screens and wrong temp readings and a whole lot of other issues, mainly in the RTX 50 series range of GPUs. Video will be linked for what it's worth. Now, just to let you know that it seems that the driver saga, mainly with RTX 50 series, is continuing because the GPU has been plagued with problems. It hasn't been off to a good start. And I think users are getting frustrated with NVIDIA um, overall. But just to let you know that NVIDIA obviously is sensing this and is realizing that trust has been lost and has once again rolled out another GeForce Game Ready driver. This time 576.28, which rolled out a short while ago today on the 30th of April. Now, here is the download link. I'll leave this page in the description as always. Um, you can also get the NVIDIA app as well. And if we look at the release highlights, yeah, they say they fix gaming bugs with this update, mainly for RTX 50 series. But this is the important bit I want to focus on because these are mainly the issues that have been going on now for the last couple of weeks which NVIDIA just doesn't seem to fix. It just goes from one driver update to the next, and there are still complaints of the same issues. So here we can see there's a fix for lower idle GPU clock speeds after updating to game-ready driver 576.02, and that's where all the problems started was with 576.02. Next one, momentary display flicker occurs when running in DisplayPort 2.1 mode with a high refresh rate. GPU monitoring utilities may stop reporting the GPU temperature after PC wakes from sleep. That's been a big one. Display blank screens when running in DisplayPort 2.1 mode with HDR. Here's another one that's been um, causing a lot of issues. An issue when resuming from modern standby can result in black screen. And here's another one. Lower idle GPU clock speeds after updating to, once again, Game Ready Driver 76.02. And if we just head to the supported products, here are the supported products. If you just want to pause the video at the relevant timestamp. But as mentioned, this download link and page will be in the description. So there you have it. Maybe this will be the driver update that fixes those problems. I've seen a lot of interesting comments um, on the channel. So hopefully this new driver, which is a Game Ready WHQL Windows Hardware Quality Labs driver, will get the job done. But um, obviously time will tell, and I'm sure over the next couple of hours I will see in the comments if this latest driver was successful or not. And like I always say on the channel, only install the latest driver if you're experiencing issues that the driver is fixing or it's got a worthwhile feature enhancement that is worth upgrading for. But if you're completely happy how your system is running, ignore the driver. I keep saying that on the channel because it's worth repeating. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.